Morning everybody, so I'm actually going to go back to vlogging once a week instead of once a fortnight because I think I can keep up with that and I think I can make it interesting enough to keep doing it once a week plus I enjoy making videos again so you're in for a treat. Uh, yesterday we done launch. But Millie's kind of like my uh, supervisor. She sits up here normally but for some reason she's been super sooky. And she wants to stand up here. So she was sitting here just tapping me. And then I let her come here. And then she just wants to stand here and lick me. So she's not the best supervisor. Because she's very distracting. You know the absolute worst thing about Uber Eats is. Is if you get healthiest nuggets and healthiest chips. Healthy-ish. And they forget your fucking sauce. Hey, everything's dry, you can't just ring them up and say, can you deliver me sauce? Because by the time they deliver you sauce, everything that's meant to be warm when you eat it is then cold. And it tastes like shit anyway. I'm out here trying to do shit for my launch on Friday. And I don't even get my fucking sauce. And it says semen. Semen. What the fuck? How can you say semen? And no sauce. Defeats the purpose. If you want semen, you need sauce. Semen is the sauce. Thank you. So we're about five minutes away from launch now. We went for a little stroll to get the nerves off. Got some acai bowls. It's always like you work really hard for two weeks to go to launch. Well, you work really hard all year, but the last two weeks is full hectic because you've got to get all the photos done. Just everything, it takes a lot of time and effort. And then the launch comes, so you're super nervous beforehand and all you do is click a button and then you, you don't do anything. But I'll show you, I'll show you our reaction. Ready to see our, our reaction? It's live. It's live. <laughs> fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. <laughs> That's literally it now. Like I'm still nervous, but you can't really do anything now. You just gotta wait. Didn't go as well as we expected, but still went all right. We only launched men's gears, plus we're in floods in Australia. There's war going on, all that kind of jazz. So, <laughs> not a good time to launch, but we had to. Hey, we're gonna go do a studio shoot. I'm in a street shoot right now. I haven't done one of these in like four months now, but we got all the new gear coming out. Duck gone red, I made a name for myself. Can't lie, I'm doing well for my age. My dogs are praying on my downfall. Well, they just choose in the casket, now they souls in the grave. I'm a star right, got a bark right. I induce pain. I am Luke Kane, makes a Bruce Wayne. I'm a dark knight, watch your stargaze. Got a hard bite, I'm a dog of the leash, better talk right. Man, I do this, not a new kid, been a student. You're a doofus, on a real, leave you clueless. When I shoot shit, style too crisp, and I let it all hang out like a nudist. Did you get it? <laughs> now I'm gonna do it again and now it's awkward. <laughs> so this is where I showed you at the start of the vlog yesterday. I was standing in over there. The, the issue that they're worried about is high tide since it's low tide right now. And the high tide is normally underneath that boardwalk which is about three and a half meters lower. Why they're worried about high tide is because the water starts coming up out of the drains and gutters. And this morning, I didn't. This is my driveway. I could walk through that this morning, and now I can't. Must getting in the elevator to coming upstairs. That was already knee deep down underneath us, and now it's probably rised another 200 mil. Cars, headlights are now under. The water's almost all the way across the road and those buildings are now starting to go under. This is insane. And we don't even have any river. This is all coming up from the ground. It's Brisbane River. There's the crane that's been floating down the river. 
probably all those boats as well because they look half sunk. Kind of looks like shipwrecks. I'll let you know how Batman goes. Little, this best cinema in Brisbane, by the way, Newstead Studio. I mean, Newstead New Farm Cinema. Love Sax. I'll give you a review in three, two, one. So, Batman was actually really good. It's kind of like an old school gothic style, which is different from the other ones. It's, I actually really liked it. Only thing I didn't like is. And I guess it's because the world's on this whole cancel fucking shit at the moment. Robert Pattinson refused to get shredded for it because he said he didn't want to create a bad body image for the rest of the world or some shit. But, one, the rest of the world ain't fucking superheroes. Nobody's going out there with a big body going, unless you're the Hulk. And is the Hulk going to, the next person who tries to be the Hulk, even though it's computer generated, is he going to be fat instead of muscly ass and just running around like a big fat hole like the Thor was the Thor <laughs> anyway I didn't like that part because Batman should be fucking shredded and strong how's he gonna bash people and do the shit he does unless he's jacked as fuck or he's just like Iron Man and his suit does everything but that's not Batman Batman is shredded and strong and a fucking unit and a bat and he should be fucking shredded only thing I didn't like about it, but overall, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10, maybe even an 8.5. But if you're one of those little fuckheads who go to the cinema and just talk the whole time really loud, disrespectfully laughing at not the movie and then just cheering it, shit that doesn't even make sense because you're trying to be cool in front of your little fuckhead Eshe friends or whoever you are, I'm going to yell at you. And if you want to come back at me, we're going to take it out the front. I ain't fucking around when I go to movies. I had to scream at these fucking kids. Or they, don't, they weren't kids. They were probably like 20-year-olds trying to be funny and really cool in front of the girls. So I yelled out, shut the fuck up. And supposedly they said something back. I didn't hear them. Or was I just scared? Maybe I was just scared. <laughs> <coughs> and then the bloke who was sitting next to us is actually pretty cool as well. We're in the love sacks, as you could see in that previous one. He says, No, it's fucking right. If you guys want to fucking talk. Oh, he goes, No, it's fucking right. Shut the fuck up. If you guys want to fucking talk, go outside. That was my Irish accent, by the way. And when an Irish person says it and they're angry, it's a lot, it's a lot scarier than when an Australian person goes, Shut the fuck up. That's how I did it. But anyway, have some respect, you pieces of shit. Batman, 8.5 out of 10. Been around here for about four, four days now, five days, but we probably had a day and a half worth of fuck arounds. That's what we build in, three of us, half days. He used to be a pretty nice feller, but now he's a welder. Try to pick the fight. He's got sores on both his hands. He can sometimes barely stand. He thinks he's got a master plan. He's obnoxious and he's rude. Got a real bad attitude. But in his mind, he thinks that he's just grand. So, last two weeks we've been here building these modulars for Hutchies. Fun story. It's only uh, four of us here, two tradesmen, but well, one of them is a welder, me, and two apprentices. And we've got these both completely finished within two weeks. First ones we've ever done, but I reckon we'll be able to get two of these done in a week completely finished. Fun story about it all is that we only had this one on to get done, which we finished in about four days, other than all these variations. And then the one over the meant to be another company's but they're going way too slow so we ended up taking their contract 
not even meaning to. They just the, the guys here at Hutchinson's didn't want them working on it anymore, so they got us in. Um, anyway, yeah. So now we've got we won another like two hundred thousand dollars worth of work from them and shit. Just be good at what you do, guys. A bit of motivational talk here. Just continue to work. Don't slack off. Don't let the unions get in your head. And you can ask for what you want. Come on, end the vlog with me again. End the vlog with me again. Thanks for watching this week, guys. I'm going to start doing it once a week because I'm enjoying making videos again. Um, and I love documenting my life. Alpha Fortis is now live. Obviously, you've seen it in the vlog. Go cop some gear for the best gear you'll ever own. Also, remember to like and subscribe. The more you like and subscribe, the more I can grow and the more this one can live less frugally. She only gets like three treats a day, the poor thing. Look at her. She's, she's starving. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good week and I'll see y'all next week.